Hey, what's up everybody? Not a long video today, just a quick update. I went on a listing appointment this morning and as I was looking through the comps and we were kind of evaluating everything, we realized, hey, this building, this condo complex on the beach here in Gulf Shores had one listing two months ago and now it has six active listings. And that was kind of an eye opener. Another thing was that all six of them have been there for anywhere from a week to 60 days, something like that, the one that was already on there before, which means inventory is piling up. And what's happening is, and what we're seeing across the board is that for the last year and a half or so, the strategy for sellers has been the same. Price it 10% higher, 15% higher than the last sale. You're gonna get multiple offers. You're gonna sell it even higher than that price. And that strategy has worked time and time again for the last 18, 20 months or so, right? But that strategy is not working anymore. Now there's gonna be delayed reaction for sellers because they're gonna to continue to think that's the strategy because that's what's been working. And so we're seeing people, sellers, uh, list their properties 10% higher than the last sale. We have sellers at this listing appointment, for example, uh, they wanted to price it about 10%, really more than 10%, a little bit more than 10% higher than what the sales are. And here we are saying, hey, there's things even lower than that that are just sitting on the market and they're, it's really not getting a lot of activity. We actually have one of the six listings and we know it's not getting much activity. And so guys, the data is coming, okay? And it's gonna be so easy to paint the picture to sellers about what's happening here. You know, after, we have data now to show where we are in the market, um, but it's gonna get better and better and better for us to be able to paint that picture as we go on listing appointments and let's say a seller wants to ask 850 for their house and we're sitting here and we say well they've been selling the last few sales are you know in the 690 range right and here's one for sale for 750 that's been on the market for 72 days and it's had three showings and you want to price yours at 850 you want to price yours at 825 or even 810 Right? Even if you price it at $750, you are probably going to see the same results as this one that's exactly like yours that's been sitting there for 72 days with three showings. And so what I'm saying to you is that we're going to find the motivated sellers in this market, right? That euphoric moment that I keep talking about, we're getting closer and closer and closer. Today, the Fed raised the rates again, 50 basis points. We haven't seen that affect mortgage rates yet but we'll see how it does affect mortgage rates over the next couple days, over the next couple months. And it's gonna be very interesting to see how the market reacts to that. Now, a lot of people say, well, the interest rates are baked into the market, not in real estate. In real estate, it literally knocks off an entire chunk of buyers every time they raise that mortgage rate of people that can't afford the house anymore. Their debt, can, it, debt to income ratio just doesn't work out. And so guys, listen, <laughs> we are in this shift it is happening, whether you want to believe it or not, the market is changing, and it's going to be real interesting to see. I still stand by the fact that inventory, as we are seeing it rise, I just talked to an appraiser in Phoenix. He said two weeks ago they had somewhere in the 5,000, a little over 5,000 listings active in, in the Phoenix area. Now they're looking at over 6,000 right now, right? So we're seeing this across the board. Um, again, I asked you guys on Instagram, 76% of you said you feel the market shifting where sellers are more interested and open to talking about putting their properties on the market. We're going to see this more and more, especially with today's interest rate hike. So I'm going to stand by what I've been talking about this entire time that this is the moment in history. It's like, did you want to be in on Facebook day one? Did you want to own that Facebook stock the day it went IPO? Did you want to get in early on the crypto craze? Did you want to get in early on something? Maybe it was TikTok, maybe it was this, maybe it was that. Maybe you wanted to be on, you should have been on YouTube in 2008. The fact is, is that right now, we are on the front end of this massive market shift, all right? And, and you're, this is your opportunity to get in early. We see this happening. Now, what do you have to do to prepare for it? The same stuff I've been telling you to do for years now. And one big part of why I make videos like this is to help you through the market shifts so you can kind of see what's going to happen, realize that closings are going to happen every day regardless. We don't have to get out of the market. We don't have to be scared. We just have to dig in and commit more and work harder to help more people, right? We just went through a very tough market with very low inventory. Now we're going to see a little more inventory, but it's going to be interesting because 
we're still gonna have demand. So I am super excited about the market right now. I'm excited for me, I'm excited for you, and where this whole thing is going. So let's stay tuned. I'm gonna keep you on top of it. You let me know what you need in the comments. We'll see you on the next video. Let's go.